It was a state memorial, not a state funeral. And today, Sir Manuel's wish was that there wouldn't be tears. There would be music and mirth, as his former prime minister wanted a concert with a musical menu that run the gamut, from classical to paranda to broke down. That you dare to dream really do come true. But there was also sober reflection on the life of a father, a physicist, and a statesman. He positively impacted the lives of hundreds of Belizean students with his intellect, approachability, and dedication. His innovations in the classroom made complex math and physics easier for his students to grasp. His ingenuity extended way beyond the classroom. One year, for example, when the game Operation came out, Dad made his own version of the game for us and made several extras to gift to the younger children in our extended family. He often made toys for us. He made me a rocking horse. Later on, he built us a swing set complete with slide and monkey bars, a pretend shop for my sister, and even a life-size spaceship powered by an old blender. We could fit three or four of us in there. It was a bit tight, but we got off the ground. <laughs> While he is admired across the political spectrum, both locally and internationally, for his integrity, intelligence, and competence, to us, he's just dad. He gave of himself with diligence, intelligence, and with steadfast devotion to the task of Belize's national development. Every day, the office of the Prime Minister presents challenges that can wear a person down and require a steady hand and a conscience of your convictions. I want to believe his wife and partner, Lady Cathy, and his three children help him through those turbulent moments. For sure, no one can question the resolve of Sir Manuel or his dedication to the task and his desire to complete and accomplish the things he believed were good for Belize. The greatness of Manuel was that he possessed the other qualities in spades. There was his capacious mind, his fixity of purpose, his immovable resolve to do the right though unpopular thing, his preternatural calm, the ice in his veins when confronted by crises, his being stirred to anger only by the evil of corruption. The sum total of this man was a wonder to behold. And now Belize has lost one more former prime minister, perhaps the most unusual one to hold office. But even as the period of mourning ends, Belizeans won't soon forget the man behind the politician. Courtney Menzies, 7 News.